Hi everyone, we are going to quickly look at an easy way to hardwire a V1 Valentine. So here I have my radar and the hardwire kit that comes with the radar includes this RG11 cable which is about um, 8 or 9 feet long. Okay, so you have plenty of cable there to run around the pillars, make sure you can completely hide it. Um, and what else you get with the kit is this circuit. So what you'll do is plug the RG11 in the port where it says main. Um, there's two ports, main and accessory. You'll plug it into the main one and the other end of the RG11, you know, as you know, will connect to your V1 radar. So this will go here. So you have that connecting to the radar. You can hide this around the pillars. And what we will do is we will connect the V1 to our fuse box. Um, my Corvette doesn't have it has a target top, so there's not a lot of room next to the rear view mirror to hide uh, cables. So I'm gonna go with the fuse box and uh, the factory hardwire kit comes with this. Uh, positive uh, male clamp and the other end is a black ground wire what I did was from Amazon purchase an add-on circuit a female add-on circuit and this can plug in right to your fuse box and what I will do basically is plug the the factory mill harness into this female clamp here and I purchased this for about $5.99 from Amazon so you can go online and get this, it'll make your install a lot easier. So it's just sorry. There we go. Now your hardwire kit has an add-on circuit. So I'll take you to my car now. Okay, I'm I'm here in my car and um, don't mind the cracked windshield. I hit a road debris a few days ago, so um in less than three weeks of ownership of the car I managed to crack the windshield so this is gonna get replaced it's the original GM windshield so one with the original GM ran me about twelve hundred dollars in, in case you guys were wondering so we are here in the car we're gonna hardwire the V1 as you can see that's on top there um, I am gonna use the visor and this cable is the RG11 which is with the hardwire kit so over here make sure it's connected into the main port and you have your ground which I'm gonna connect with this bolt here okay so and don't mind the extra wiring here I was you know in the process of hard wiring my DOD camera if you want to see the video for that that should be on my channel um, this RG11 will connect into the main fuse and this main fuse runs off this positive red charge Connected to the add-on circuit that I purchased. Okay, so after trying a few few of the fuses I'm gonna get it to the point that it would go off after the car was turned off uh, Until I hit this fuse here uh, If you look at the owner's man, it will tell you that this belongs to the engine control module ECM um, ECM fuse will make it go off when the car is off and make it come on when the car is on. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to plug this back in um, to the ECM. Okay, this, the other one, the second add on circuit is for the DoD camera, and this top is for the radar connected to this positive cable running into my V1. Got the ground. If you don't connect the ground it's not gonna come on. So see here I'm connecting the ground. You hear it come on right? So I daily drive this Corvette. So I bought the car I had 24,180 I think. I'm at 27 now so that's how much I drove within a month. Right now the car's running. The car's off. Uh, 
wee ones up and the DOD takes a second or two because uh, it tries to run it on battery but there is no charge so there we go did you see that this went off so now I'm gonna start the car back up So once I do get the windshield replaced, I'll make an exterior video of the car because a lot of people have been asking about, like, they want to see the actual car. Um, so I'll get the windshield replaced and all that's left is basically, you know, hide these wires behind the pillars all around uh, running to the fuse box. Okay, right now I have both cables coming out of the fuse box as you can see under my floor mat. So, Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please do comment, subscribe and like and again thanks for watching, uh, until next time, alright, cheers.